Have you ever been caught up in a meeting cycle where you seem to repeat the same agenda items week after week, never seeming to make any progress despite seemingly endless meetings? Now, of course, it's a gross generalization to suggest that all meetings are the same. There are dozens of different purposes for meetings, and they all require different people, presence, and methodology. But over the last 20 years, as laptops have become widely adopted, we've also seen an explosion in the number of meetings that people are required to attend. In fact, for many people, meeting seems to be the primary function of the job today. I wonder if there's a correlation between the number of meeting invitations that get sent and the adoption of laptops in a company. And I wonder that because laptops encourage distraction. Distraction drives ill-fated attempts at multitasking, and multitasking is simply a waste of everybody's time. Research has shown over and over again that you simply cannot read an email and listen to people in a meeting. You can do one or the other, but you can't do both. So why don't we just ban laptops from meetings altogether? Many time management gurus recommend doing exactly that. So what's stopping us? Well, people bring laptops to meetings because they are actually useful. I mean, if you handwrite all of your notes and action items from your meetings on paper, and then you have to go back to your desk and type them up after the fact, you're doing rework. And if you do need to keep a record of everything that was said in a meeting, a laptop is a lot more useful than a secretary writing in shorthand, only to have to retype everything that was said into a computer later on. But laptops bring with them multitasking and distraction. So which is better? Hours and hours of rework, or hours and hours wasted on ineffective meetings? There has to be a better way. I have two suggestions on how you can take advantage of technology in your in-person meetings in a way that will help you to focus, to communicate and have more effective meetings. There are no silver bullets for making your meetings more effective, but these suggestions can make an impact. Number one, use a device like my Surface Pro that can be used flat on the meeting room table. Anytime that people are together, we are communicating even if nothing's being said. The famous Morabian study has been used to suggest that only 7% of communication is verbal. Now that's a misapplication of the study. But it is very true that communication involves far more than words. Tone, expression, and body language all play an important part. If you're paying attention in a meeting, you'll indicate that with your eye gaze. You'll lean forward and look up to indicate to the person that's speaking that you're engaged. And you'll nod along in agreement and you'll make non-verbal sounds that allow the speaker to know that they're on the right track. A laptop with a vertical screen blocks out a lot of that communication and whatever's left over, it tries to steal with distraction. But by putting a device flat on the desk, you'll be a lot less likely to get involved in any distractions that come your way. Because if you do get distracted and click on an email that's popped up, everybody's gonna see it. Having a device flat on the desk in a meeting encourages openness, transparency, and sharing. I've asked thousands of people why they take notes in meetings, and these three answers feature consistently. To remember, for action items and to keep a record. And for each of these reasons, I use OneNote to take meeting notes on my Surface Pro flat on the desk. Professor of Psychology Daniel Willingham says that memory is the residue of thought. So it shouldn't be a surprise that most people feel that writing things down with a pen improves their memory. In fact, several studies have demonstrated that taking notes with a pen improves both memory and understanding. One reason for that is that with a pen, you simply can't write down everything that's being said. You can't write fast enough, and that forces you to think and to focus. If we're taking effective notes with a pen, you'll be writing down key points and connecting them together with other ideas. Professors Van der Meer and Van der Weel from the University of Norway suggested that there's another reason that writing with a pen improves your memory. That is that the process of writing with a pen involves far more neurons firing than typing does. Writing with a pen activates the dominant parts of our brain that are dedicated to vision and space. Whereas typing on a keyboard is a simple mechanical process that doesn't require us to think much at all. The fact that many people can practically type every single thing that's being said and the simple mechanical nature of typing means that we just don't have to think much at all to take notes with a keyboard. And since memory is the residue of thought, you're going to remember less if you type notes in meetings. On the other hand, taking notes with a digital pen on my surface allows me to fully engage in the meeting while causing minimal distraction to me and others. As I write down ideas and notes, I think and summarize. I use nonverbal marks, connectors, highlights, and different colors to represent things that I need to remember. 
And all of that puts that visual and spatial computer on the top of my shoulders to good work creating memories. Secondly, capturing action items is essential to making sure that we progress the matters that we consider in our meetings. Writing down and highlighting action items on a piece of paper is great for our memory, but it forces us to retype that information after the meeting. And the potential for distraction between the end of the meeting and arriving back at your computer to retype your meeting notes is enormous. In fact, I'd suggest that for most people, the time between meeting and action on action items is far too long. So many times it's a matter of days or even weeks. With OneNote, I can highlight an item and turn it into an Outlook task that shows up in my to-do list directly from my notes. If I need to, I can even assign that task to somebody else. And I can do that while I'm still in the meeting. There's no rework required and there's no delay. And the third reason that people tell me that they take notes is to keep a record. And there are many situations and many industries where keeping good records of meetings is essential. And I don't wanna suggest that keeping a good record of the meeting is the equivalent of taking a transcript. However, the recent addition of dictation features in Office 365 and on devices like my Surface Pro with its dual Farfield Studio microphones has changed the game. Because now in OneNote, I can focus on taking memorable, actionable notes while the computer does the grunt work of typing every single thing that was said. And OneNote connects that transcript to your notes. So if you wanna know what was discussed when you wrote that important idea down, you'll have a direct link to the transcript right there. Now, I don't know about you, but I think it would be far more effective for me to take a transcript of a meeting and turn it into a record of the meeting than it would be to have somebody sitting there for the sole purpose of keeping records. Because if you're the person who needs to type down every single thing that was said for the record, well, you simply can't be present and available to participate. So my second tip for more effective meetings with a laptop is to use Microsoft OneNote. And as we've discussed, you can use it to improve your memory, to capture action items, and to keep a record all at the same time. People bring laptops to meetings for a good reason, but people want to ban laptops in meetings for good reason too. But now in 2022, it's time to rethink the way we use technology in our meetings. You can use laptops in your meetings effectively, but they need to be more than just a typical laptop. A multimodal computer, a two-in-one device like my Surface Pro and Microsoft OneNote is a part of the answer, but it's only a part of the answer. And the other important part, the more important part is you. It's foolish to think that any piece of technology could change your meeting practices. You need to put the time and effort into learning new things and changing your behavior through collaboration and practice first. But you, in conjunction with awesome technology like my Surface Pro and OneNote, can change meeting practices for good. So if you're prepared to invest the time into learning how you can use tools like Surface Pro and OneNote, then you're in the right place. Make sure that you hit subscribe and that notification bell to be notified about our weekly videos. And check out our playlists on OneNote and Surface Pro to get to know these amazing tools better today.